Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is some measures of variation. Variation has to deal with the spread of the data. And what I put on here is a sample. And it's a sample over the course of six years. Each year is in millions of dollars. And it's dealing with sales, let's say from a car factory. So you have 10 million, 11.2 million, 9.8 million, 12.3 million, 11.3 million, and 10.5 million dollars. And I want you to calculate the range, the variance, and their standard deviation. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, to calculate the range, it's very easy. Range is just high minus low. So my high is 12.3 million. I'm going to subtract that minus the low, which is 10. And so that gives me a range of $2.3 million. Now, to calculate the, uh, well, the variance and the standard deviation, well, they're related, right? You have the variance, and then the square root of the variance is your standard deviation. So first, let's calculate the variance. And we're calculating the variance of the sample. That's why you have an S here and not a sigma. So, and the formula is N times the square root of X squared. Let me put that in parentheses. Minus the square root of X, that squared, over n times n minus 1 and put the n minus 1 in parentheses. So this is the formula. I already know what n is. n is 6. So you need to calculate this right here and then this right here. So the summation of x squared would be each of these squared. I'm going to add each one. So it's 10 squared plus 11.2 squared plus 9.8 squared plus 12.3 squared plus 11.3 squared plus 10.5 squared. So I calculated that using my handy dandy calculator. So I have 10 squared plus 11.2 squared plus 9.8 squared plus 12.3 squared plus 11.3 squared plus 10.5 squared. And that gives me 710, 710.71, 71 hundredths. So next I'm going to calculate the summation of x. And I need the summation of x squared. So I'm going to add all these up. So let me write that so you can see what's going on. So that's 10 plus 11.2 plus 9.8 plus 12.3 plus 11.3 plus 10.5. So I'm going to add those up. So 10 plus 11.5 plus 9.8 plus 
plus 11.3 plus 10.5. And that gives me 65.1. Now, the summation of x squared would be this whole thing squared. So 65.1 squared is 4,023.01. All right, so I take this amount, multiply it by, I'm just going to plug it in. So I have 6 times 7110.71 minus. 4,238.01 over 6 times 5. And that's going to give me the variance. So I'm just going to plug that all in once. So I'm going to put parentheses around the numerator and parentheses around my denominator when I plug it into the calculator. So I have 6 times the 710.71 minus 4,238.01 and I get for the variance it 0.875 Now for my standard deviation, I just need to take the square root of this. So when I take the square root of it, it's 0 0.875. So then I want to approximate it. I'm just going to use the same number of decimal places. So it would be approximately 0 0.935. And that's it.